In Florida this afternoon, SpaceX will try again to launch into space history. Never before has a company rather than a country sent people into orbit. This is a live look at the Falcon 9 rocket standing on the pad at Florida's Kennedy Space Center. If all goes well, liftoff will happen at 3.22 p.m. Eastern Time. On board will be two veteran NASA astronauts. The first attempt at launch on Wednesday was scrubbed because of bad weather. Everyone's hoping for a more promising forecast today, and that includes our very own Mark Strassman covering the launch for us at Kennedy Space Center. Good morning, Mark. How are the skies looking overhead? Good morning, Michelle. Officially, uh, weather conditions are a 50-50 for launch today, but I just talked to a top NASA official. Right now, there's a call going on among all the top officials here about the weather, and the official told me that right now, it launch is looking more likely for tomorrow than it is for today, but no final decision has been made yet. What everybody agrees about is that astronaut safety trumps everything. Launch conditions have to be favorable both on pad 39A and in the Atlantic Ocean, all the way up the U.S. East Coast. That's where the capsule would ditch in case of serious trouble. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to grasp that no one controls launch weather. The human factors end up adding some risk as well because it wears everybody out, including our astronauts, although they never complain. <laughs> Uh, we, want, we want to make sure that everybody is well rested and ready to go. We now do not expect to clear in time to allow for a launch today. We'll go ahead and end uh, today's launch attempt. Wednesday's launch first control. launch attempt Good. came oh so close. Storms blew through. And then with astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley strapped inside the Crew Dragon capsule and fueling underway, an area near the Space Center went under a tornado warning. SpaceX called it off 17 minutes before liftoff. And for clarity, we are scrubbed for today's launch attempt. Ignition, liftoff. SpaceX has launched cargo 20 times to the International Space Station. Only one of them didn't make it. And we appear to have had a launch vehicle failure. The company has never faced a more critical test. This capsule will carry people. Before Wednesday's launch attempt, we talked about that with SpaceX founder Elon Musk. Yeah. There's a million things have to go right. Yes. There's thousands of things that can go wrong, and only one thing that can go right. That one thing is the safety of the crew. It is not simply the top priority. It is the only priority. How does that responsibility weigh on you? It weighs very heavily. That's really all I can think about right now. So I really kind of have to kind of mentally block it, because otherwise it would be emotionally impossible to deal with. This launch has several firsts. The first liftoff of astronauts from U.S. soil in nearly a decade. The first flight in a new piloted spacecraft in almost 40 years. And the first commercial launch of people into orbit. In this new age, NASA will become a customer. And we want to have numerous providers that are competing on cost and innovation. This is the beginning of a commercial marketplace in space. So uh, President uh, Trump and Vice President Pence are supposed to come back here to Kennedy Space Center if the launch is a go to watch, the, to watch it take off. But if it's a no-go, Jeff, the next attempt, the third attempt to make this happen will be tomorrow afternoon, 3 o'clock Eastern. Mark Strassman, thanks very much.